Teen Star, bagong mukha ng pelikula. Lumabas na po siya sa ilang mga pelikula. Kapilang na po ang Musmos ng Cinema Laya 2017 and Children of the River na katatapos na ng Cinema Laya 2019. Please welcome Junaika Santarin. Junaika, center dito for photo op. Go, dito. Picture, picture lang. Picture, picture with our friends from the press. And this one. Please welcome Miss Althea Vega. Photo of center. Althea, center. Hello. Thanks so much. And of course, next is um, our captain of the ship. He is uh, the, the best director of Metro Manila Film Festival New Wave section for the movie, for his first movie, Great Bandits, and this is the second one. Please welcome, director of Chicago, USA, director Tyron Asherto. <laughs> direct Ty, okay, the nickname. Center to the picture, picture. The, the award-winning actress, please welcome. The birthday celebrant, the current 50 years old golden girl, please welcome Miss Jean Garcia. Oh, oh. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey, po. Maganda nga ba to? Ay maganda ka tukos na kita. Oh, we have uh, Junaika. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tyrone Asherto, writer, director of Watch Me Feel. Malamit pong salamat at nandito po kayo at pinaunakan niyo po ang aming pagpapit. And of course, our lead actress of Watch Me Feel, Miss Jean Garcia. Yes, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Jean Garcia. Ngayon si Garcia. Magandang gabi po. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagpunta niyo dito sa aming mini pocket press phone. Salamat po sa oras. Alam kong very busy din po kayong lahat. Umikot sa mga kanya-kanyang mga mga ipalalabas din ng mga pelikula at mga TV shows. Pero maraming salamat po sa pagbigay po ninyo ng oras sa amin. Thank you so much. Okay. Pwede na po tayong uh, simulan na po natin ang ating uh, question and answer portion. But before that, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of the manager of Ms. G. Garcia, Direct Manny Valera. Ayan. Sa kanadya din si O.G. Diaz kanina, manager naman ni Altea. Yan. Uh, so, shoot na po tayo ng katanungan po ninyo habang nandito ang ating mga artista. Go, Archie. Uh, direct, uh, congrats din sa movie mo, Ross Wiggy. Ado sa atas, paki-expound nga kung ano yung mga roles. Nasabi nyo na kanina, pero paki-expound. Hello po. So, uh, I play a very important role in this film. Red po ang pangalan niya. Pero, um, sorry po, hindi ko pwede i-elaborate kung ano yung, yung character niya. Um, mas mainam po. Mas maganda po siguro na panoorin na lang natin yung pinigula. You can say, I can. Yeah. Um, buti, buti, ano, binayagan mo ako direct na rin. <laughs> Kasi baka hindi ka mapan. Yeah. So, so si Red po ay isa, isa rin po siyang killer. Yeah. So, hinahangaan po niya si Luciana. Okay. That's all you can say. That's all you can say. That's all you can say. That's it. That's it. That's it. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. Hello? I'm going to ask you a question. What you feel is the Aurora. Is that what you feel? Bata na. Matatag po ano lang po. Alright, grab the mic. Basta. Mysterious girl po siya. So, yun na lang po yung abangan nyo. Uh, abangan nyo po kung ano po yung papel ni Aurora sa buhay ni Luciana. At kung 
Ano po ang para na kita ng gagawin ni Luciano sa amin? Mga ano, mga sampal. Sampal talaga. Oo, oh, kawawa itong batang to sa akin si Aurore. Pasensya ka na, iha, trabaho lang po. Um, ako po dito si Luciana, isa po siyang contract killer. So, ang trabaho niya po ay ang pumatay ng may bayad. Uh, hindi siya pumapatay ng dahil gusto lang niya pumatay, kundi ano yun? Bayaran? Bayaran siya para pumatay. So, he's a contract killer, hired killer. Um, si Luciana po, ang kanyang character ay siya po ay walang emosyon na tao. Hindi po siya nakikisalamuha kahit kanina. Wala po siyang kaibigan, wala siyang kinikilalang kaibigan, wala po siyang pakialam sa mga tao sa paligid niya at sa mga nangyayari sa paligid niya. Basta siyang importante ng kay Luciana ang sarili niya, ang trabaho niya na pagpatay, kasi babayaran siya. Yun lang po ang everyday life na ginagawa ni Luciana. Ganun ka, cold-blooded, uh, no emotions, wala Yeah, it's, it's a cold-blooded killer. Yes. Uh, Pala question kay Jin, no? ano yung initial reaction mo? No? He offers sa ito, uh, I think first time mo. First time yung mag-action? Uh, actually, nung binabalikan nga namin ni Direk kanina kung paano ba kami nag-umpisa, through email muna, no, Direk. Uh, Nag-email kay Direk Manny, sa manager ko, and then pinabasa sa akin yung script. Pero honestly, hindi lang ako yung kinonsider nila for this film. Tama naman, direct, di ba? That's right. Yeah. So, hindi. Pero, kumbaga, nakipag-usap din si direct sa iba and all. Pero, ang ending, sabi nga nila, pag para sa'yo yung pelikula, para sa'yo talaga. Eh, ako, it doesn't matter kung first pick ka, second pick ka, o hindi. Ang importante, ikaw yung gumawa ng pelikula. Plus, nung una ko pong nabasa yan sa, sa email ko, nagustuhan ko siya kaagad. Kasi nga, one, hindi ko pa nagagawa yung character na, na ganito. Two, parang gusto ko i-challenge yung sarili ko na sa edad ko bang ito, eh kaya ko pang gawin ito. Parang ganyan. Um, pero challenging siya sa akin kasi nga, never ko pa siya ginawa. Tapos three, maganda talaga yung story at hindi bihirang gumawa ang mga filmmakers dito sa Pilipinas ng ganitong klaseng pelikula. Plus, of course, gusto ko ma-experience ang isang direktor na nag-aral sa Amerika. Gusto ko makatrabaho ang isang direktor na nag-aral talaga ng filmmaking. Uh, plus, hindi lang po siya direktor ng itong pinito na ito. Siya rin po ang sumulat na. Yun. Uh, did you undergo mga training? At saka yung may mga gabi-paring things ko ba dito? Well, um, ang, ang pelikula po namin ay suspense thriller. Um, a little a little bit of meron po siyang action talaga at paghawak po ng baril, pag, pag ano, pero hindi masyado, hindi siya yung typical na action na talagang action na, na uh, hardcore action or talagang mahaba yung mga action na. Kasi hard killer siya. Pag hard killer ka, patay ka lang ng patay eh. As much as possible. Wala nang masyadong mga ang tawag doon, direct ng mga extra ng mga mga fight scenes and ano. So, ito, pag hard killer ka, pagkaharap mo na, o hindi na nakatalikod sa'yo, o nakaharap sa'yo, papatayin mo na lang. At saka ang maganda dito kay Luciana pala, pwede ko bang sabihin direct na? At saka, ito ba, ang ugali ni Luciana, wala siyang pake, hindi lang siya pumapatay ng bata. Tawag ka direct. Pero pag may witness, ay, hali ba ako? Hali yata ako? Tama ba ako? Oo. Uh, hindi siya pumapatay ng bata, pero pag merong, merong siyang pinatay at merong witness, kailangan niyang patayin yun, kahit hindi kasama sa bayan. So, malas ka kapag nakita ka ni Luciana na nakita mo kung paano siya pumatay. Parang yun. So, merong a little bit, kasi big story eh. It's all, ang, ang story ito, hindi naman parang, hindi talaga siya yung action, action film eh. Ito ay story ng isang hard killer, kung paano yung everyday life niya. Kung, kung bakit siya, yung reason kung bakit siya naging hired assassin o bakit siya naging assassin ano yung backstory niya at saan pupuntahan yung buhay ni Luciana after yun uh, direct na karoon na ng action movies si Lana Erich Gonzalez at si Kasi Alec Ortiz ano? uh, so, pag ngayon mo after this movie magiging part uh, maliling na sa akin ang mga veteran actors ng Dalichin Garcia So, yeah, that's a great question, and um, I think, following in a similar vein, 
what you said last time. It's, it's not so much an action film as it is a psychological thriller. So I highly doubt that she's going to be in the same line in terms of that genre, because I, as a writer, as a director, we tried not to do that. Other than I think that there's a lot of uh, numbers of action films that have already been done, and we want to be unique in that we want to delve into the psychological aspect of the character. You know, so I think in and of itself, this can be a, a film of its own. Really, you know, and I, and I think that this is something that uh, people, most moviegoers uh, here in the Philippines, haven't seen yet, or haven't really kind of like uh, a lot of writers or directors haven't explored too much about. It. So yeah. Uh, since training, can I make a protest? I mean, say in post production, I think it was. Uh, yeah, uh, hundred percent of post production was done in uh, Chicago. Chicago and California. Right, right. Because we we shot uh, on a, a Super 16 film negative. So, right. I don't even know the last time we shot on film. Uh, right. So we had to bring the film negative here from states, as it's really hard to find film negatives anymore. So we had to, you know, to fly here. And make sure it doesn't go through X-ray, yes. as you know how tough yes. they are in, in securities. So uh, there's a language barrier in Korea where we stop over, yeah. and then coupled with you know not being allowed to to bring excess amount of weight of film negatives. Those are really heavy uh, so film negative and yeah. carry. So that's one. Number two, we successfully were able to get the film negatives here. Going back with exposed negatives is another issue. So yeah, it's uh, quite a challenge. But at the end of the day, it was, it was a fun and, and a great uh, experience altogether. And we were able to scan the film negative to a 4K resolution, which I can't wait for you guys to see. Uh, you'll see it in full clarity. We've got natural, great, organic look. And in and, and, uh, 5.1 surround sound, it's, it's amazing. So, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. So we from 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 uh, Pampanga to Manila, and Manila to LA, and LA to Chicago. So as you can imagine, we were like you know we were holding our breath the entire time, but hope nothing happens. In terms of technique, you.